Nice to see how much you take our little chats to heart. What? Yeah, well, less than 24 hours after my request, Caleb's in the house. Dad, he had to get some clothes. And how do you even... And then do... a park bench, right? You cannot just ask me to cut this person out of my life. Do I look like I'm asking? Spence, listen. I, I know how painful this is. And maybe Caleb had good intentions, but his actions prove that he doesn't share the same value system as this family. Oh, my God. Can you really look at me and say that with a straight face? You are protecting her. She killed someone, and you shuttle her off to Europe. What kind of value system is that? She didn't kill anyone. She was being blackmailed. What are you talking about? Right before Charlotte's hearing, your sister started getting threatening messages. Someone claimed to have her on tape confessing to burying Bethany. So that can't be true, Dad. She was told to drop money off at a disclosed location or the video would be released. That's why she came back to Rosewood in secret. Who was blackmailing her? She doesn't know. But she dropped off the money and just hoped everything would go away. Then Charlotte turned up dead. Oh, okay, so then why flee? You said that she had nothing to do with it. She got spooked, Spence. Why didn't you tell her to go to the police? I was scared. Okay, I was scared that, like you, they would think she was guilty of more than just being 